What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. We are gonna do a around the world. This is how it works. I will have five to six strategies and I will alternate between them. I'll go for two to three units per strategy. As soon as I hit my two to three unit goal, I will move on to the next strategy. I always preach to you guys not to use only one strategy because no matter what you are playing, there will always be that one shoe that will be a nightmare. That is why I tell you guys to mix it up alternate between five to six solid strategies. For money management, I'll go with the star version one. I'll be using $10 units. I will be taking away the last betting level on the star. So instead of needing 40 units in total, I only need 24 units. As always, don't forget to destroy the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, turn on bell notifications, grab a drink, get a snack, relax, and let's start this around the world. All right, we are gonna start with the no mirror strategy. I am on speed Baccarat E. Column of six is completed. I'm gonna go ahead and place a bet on banker. I took the last five results, so I don't keep you guys waiting. Okay, banker wins. We pick up a win here. And place a bet on player. Parlaying the bet. By the way, I'm playing the no mirror continuously. Looking for two to three units. And then we'll move on to the next strategy. Okay, so we lose that bet. Let's keep going. Next bet will be banker. By the way, for the star, just a reminder, I'm using $10 units, but for stage one, we have to break it down by five, all right? So that is why I am on $2 units right now for stage one. So we lose that bet. No problem, let's keep going. This will be a player bet. If I get down to minus 14, which would be a seven unit loss, we will head over to stage two, okay? Okay, so we lose that as well. Banker is our next bet. Player wins, we've lost four in a row. It's okay, we're gonna use money management. This bet will also be on banker. Okay, player wins. We're moving on to the next column. Not a great column for us, but let's keep going. Still on stage one here. Banker wins, so this will be our last bet on stage one if we lose. 
because that would mean we have gone down seven units and I'll head over to stage two. So let's see what happens here. We don't record ties, we're playing the no mirror. We're just gonna pop a rebet. I will be recording ties later on when I get to the 89 special and tie jump. So stay tuned for that. Okay, we're heading over to stage two. This will be a banker bet. I'm looking to go back to back parlay. I'm using version one. So if I get to the $30 level, we might have to grind our way depending on if we hit on the first or second attempt. Okay, so we pick up a win here. I'm going to go ahead and parlay the bet. It'll be on player. Okay, perfect. We hit back to back. Player wins, and I should have said we are going for two to three units or above. <laughs> okay, because we are way above two to three units. We are at plus 16. What I'm going to do is write plus 16 next to no mirror. All right, so we can keep track of everything. I'm going to clear this. I will also clear the Baccarat scoreboard. We are done with no mirror. We are heading over to play X marks the spot. Back on another table, we are playing X marks the spot. I will go ahead and record the last hand. It was banker. So after this free hand, we can jump right into the X. Okay, banker wins again. We're betting for player here. We'll start on stage one, looking for two to three units. And we will continue our around the world. Player wins. We pick up a win here. Since I don't need to play two sequences, I will go ahead and clear the Baccarat scoreboard. Okay, we're going to take some free hands and then we'll start again. I'll parlay my next bet. Player wins. So one more free hand and then we will bet banker. Banker wins. That was the free hand. Let's go ahead and parlay our bet on Banker. Sequence one of the X. If we win, we will clear the scoreboard once again because no need to play two sequences. But if we lose, we will head over to sequence two, okay? Natural nine, we win. Okay. That was a banker win and take a look guys plus six that's three units we're gonna write that down for the x all right and that's it we got our two to three units we're gonna clear our baccarat scoreboard we are done with the x i'm gonna go over to another table and play majority six back on another table majority six time okay i'm doing it my version i'm going to start recording the columns from this moment on ok 
Okay, player wins. My triggers for the majority six are a two in a row or a three to two situation. Player wins, that's two in a row. Let's go ahead and bet on player. First bet of majority six, let's go. Looking for two to three units. Okay, we pick up a win here. Player wins. I will wait for the next column. Okay, we are on our second column. We have a two in a row, so I'm gonna place a bet on player. It's a parlayed bet. Player does win, we win our parlay. And just like that, we are at plus three units. So we're gonna write that down next to majority six. Okay, we're gonna clear this, clear our Bakara scoreboard. I'm gonna exit this table. We're gonna move on to 89 special and tie jump. Back on a brand new table, I'm looking for some naturals here, and I will make tie jump priority. Okay, so we are recording ties. If I get a tie, I will prioritize it over 89 special, okay? So looking for some naturals here. There's our first natural. Banker wins with a natural eight. I'm gonna take a free hand and see if Banker will hold its position and then we will start betting. Player wins after the natural, so I'm going to place a bet on player here. Okay, we lose that bet, banker wins. We have one more opportunity. We bet twice with the 89 special, remember. There is a tie. We're going to play the tie jump actually before the tie banker won. So we're going to jump ship, keep it on player. So it's the same bet. Nope, Banker wins. 
waiting for another natural here. Natural eight for the player. We're gonna take a free hand, see if player can hold its position. Player does hold its position, so I'm going to bet on player. Okay, we pick up a win here. We will parlay our bet next opportunity we get. Natural nine for the banker. Let's take a free hand, see if banker will hold its position and then I will place a parlayed bet. Banker does hold its position. Let's bet on Banker here. Opposite natural interruption, player wins, so we're going to stop and take a free hand, minus four. Opposite natural interruption yet again. Okay, banker wins with the natural. So I have to take another free hand here. Player wins, we're gonna bet on player. Banker wins. We have one more opportunity. Again, if we get to a minus 14, we have to go to stage two. We're trying to get to our two to three units before that happens.
natural nine for the banker. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into a free hand. Wow, opposite natural for the player. So we're gonna take another free hand here. Banker wins, let's bet on Banker. Okay, we pick up a win here, plus two. We will parlay our bet, next opportunity we get. There is a tie, before the tie, banker won, so we're gonna go over to a player now. Parlayed bet. Okay, player does win, we hit the parlay. Let's wait for our next trigger. Natural eight for the bank. I'm gonna take a free hand and then start betting. Banker holds on, so we're gonna place a bet on Banker here. 89 special. Player wins, so we lose that bet. Let's place another bet on bank. Two opportunities. Player wins, we lose that bet. Waiting for the next trigger. There is another tie before the tie player won, so we're gonna jump ship and bet on Banker. Banker. 
Natural nine for the bank. Okay, we win on the tie jump. We can take a free hand and then play the 89 special. So let's see if banker can hold its position here. Banker does win after the natural. We're going to place our parlay on bank. Okay, we win that parlay, banker wins. We will wait for our next trigger. You know what guys, it's been a while since I placed my last bet. This shoe is not producing any naturals or ties. So you know what, I might have to just take a small loss of one unit and move on to the next strategy. Okay, let's give it one more hand. Let's see what happens here. If not, we will take a small loss and move on. Oh, there we go, natural nine. <laughs> As I was about to exit. All right, so banker wins. Let's take a free hand here and then start betting. I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long, so we might take a small loss here or I'll even take a break even. That's fine with me. Natural on the same side. Let's bet banker. Okay, opposite side natural, player wins, we lose that. I'm gonna take a free hand here before I start betting. Natural nine the other way. So we're going to have to take another free hand. Okay, same side natural. Banker wins. Let's bet on banker. Okay, there is a tie. Let's switch over to player because we're playing tie jump as priority. And before the tie, banker won. So we are jumping ship over to player. Okay, we win that as another natural came up. Okay, 
plus two. So after this free hand, we will place a bet and that'll be our last hand, win or lose, because this shoe is passing the halfway mark. And as you all know, I do not like playing when it gets close to the end of the shoe. All right, so player does win. Let's bet on player for the parlay. So we will either take a small loss or a small win, win or lose. We're gonna exit. I don't like sticking around past the halfway mark. Okay, player wins, so we pick up that wind. Plus two. Sometimes you have to feel a shoe out. Don't be stubborn. I know we said two to three units per strategy, but you know, take a look at this shoe. Not many naturals showed up and not many ties showed up. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting. And as I mentioned, it's getting close to the end of the shoe. All right, so sometimes you have to freestyle. Okay, we'll take that small win. It's okay. Plus two for the 89 and tie jump. I'm gonna clear this. I will clear the Baccarat scoreboard and we will move on to the next strategy. Back on another table, I'm going to play my diamond strategy. So to all of you who have my diamond method, just send me an email if you would like to know which derived road I am using. Okay, so shoot me an email and I'll tell you. Okay, player wins, we win the first bet. Okay, I'm gonna place a parlayed bet on Banker here. Natural eight, Banker wins. Just like that, we are at plus three, nice and quick. That's what I like. <laughs> okay, so for the diamond, let's put plus six. I'm gonna clear this, clear the scoreboard, and let's move on to our last strategy. Okay, back on another table. And this time I am playing bump set spike, road closed for those of you who have it. Again, send me an email and I will tell you which derived road I am looking at so you can follow along if you're curious. Let's go, bump set spike. Okay, so we lose that first bet. I'm gonna place another bet on Banker. I'm not gonna record ties for this strategy. Okay, banker wins, plus two. I'm gonna go ahead and parlay my bet. Okay, 
Another tie. Let's ignore that. Pop a rebet. Okay, so we lose that bet. Banker wins. Banker wins again. Minus two. Okay, another loss. Gonna wait for another trigger. All right, I'll go ahead and place a bet on Banker here. Nope, player wins. If I get to a minus 14 here, I'm gonna head over to stage two. Okay, so one more bet here and we will head over to stage two. Okay, that's a win for us. Okay, I will place a parlayed bet on player. Banker wins, so we lose that. Okay, I'm on stage two now, so original unit size bet, $10 on player. Okay, player does win. Gonna parlay it on Banker here. Okay, Banker does win. That was a parlayed win. And there we go. Plus 16. 
above our two to three units. <laughs> when playing the star, this does happen. That is why I set the goal for two to three units, but if we go above it, great. Okay, so let's put a plus 16 for bump set spike. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this. And we have completed our around the world. Let's exit this table. Okay, let's add up the totals for all strategies. Okay, so for the no mirror, plus 16, X marks the spot, plus six, majority six, also a plus six. 89 special, we freestyled and settled for a uh, plus two. And for the diamond, plus six. Last but not least, bump set spike, plus 16 for a total of plus 52. Okay, that is a plus five original unit size. And that is it for this session. We have completed our around the world, plus five units, original unit size. Did you guys enjoy the around the world? If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and I could make more of these videos. For those of you who are new, consider subscribing to my channel if you love money management and strategies. Turn on bell notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Check out my website for more Baccarat strategies. I recently released a upgraded version of Bump Set Spike called Road Closed, so go check that out. I'm also doing basketball picks. If you are interested in sports betting, send me an email and I'll put you on my email list. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one. Ciao.